what you eat is more cruel than, you know, kicking a dog, someone kicking a dog to death, they'll go to jail. But it's alright for us to buy burgers where cows and that get tortured. Yeah. You know what I mean? But people don't see that. You know what I mean? What do you think of that? Like how yeah. a burger can be more cruel than kicking a dog to Yeah, it's kind of like the same. Like, yeah, it's the same thing, isn't it? Like, it's still quite they're, they're both cruel. They're both equally cruel. It's still like eating some, something that got tortured. Like. Yeah, no, like, and, but what we're doing is we're paying for it. So yeah. we're saying, we want this burger. Can you go kill this animal and torture it for us? And then I'll eat the burger, you know? So, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh. The, the dog, the animals that that hello, then I think it's hello certified. They're half dead, man. Really? A lot of normal farmers wouldn't take the animals there. You know what I mean? Do you think that the farmers care about what happens to the animal at the end of the day, no, or do they care about bad. the money? It's bad culture in the country. Yeah. I couldn't believe it myself because I'm six generations Australian. And yeah. I couldn't believe it. They're fucking cruel to animals. You think Australians are cruel to animals? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking bad. Do you eat uh, the animal That's products? Shit, dogs. So I do, but not very much. Yeah, because you, you understand. They shoot the fucking dogs when they're training them. You know what I mean? They shoot dogs? Yeah, when they're training them. See that? There's a gas chamber, man. See that cage that the pigs in? Yeah. Yeah, it's a gas chamber. They got them in Murray Bridge and that, and they put the, the pigs in there, and they lower them down and they gas them. Gas them? Yeah, they gas them. That's supposed to be the most humane way to kill them. That's bad. Do you think it's humane? No. Why not? Because I don't know, that, you, isn't gas up poison? So yeah. You yeah. wouldn't want it done to like yourself, that's how you know yeah. if it's humane or not, eh? I think it'd be scary as like, fuck myself. It's like the Nazis in the Yeah, yeah, and people think that's disgusting what happened to them and like but we do it every day when we buy yeah. bacon. Yeah. You think it's like hypocritical to say like I'm against animal cruelty but then go out and buy like yes. Yeah, that's true. Fucking animal SPCA should be all over them. I don't know where they are, but in the feedlots, the farmers that feed all the cattle, they bring it down to a feedlot where they feed a lot of cattle in one Yeah, day. yeah. It's called a feedlot. Yeah. And the fucking dogs are working the feedlots, they fucking just run them until they, all the blood comes out their paws and then they just can't run anymore and they just shoot them. You know what I mean? And they're getting all that free work out of those dogs. You know what I mean? Like seven men, the dogs do the work of seven men and then they shoot them. It's a fucking... Slavery, animal slavery. Do you think animals can be slaves? Oh, it's terrible that fucking... They're not... What they we do to animals, it all becomes a, comes from what, how we treat each other, you know? Exactly, man. It's like dog abuse, basically. Like yeah. It's the same thing if every other animal, any, any other animal that we eat. Like, yeah. Do you think these animals are any different to dogs in the way that they feel pain and suffer? Or? No, it's like the exact same. It's like exactly. the same. Yeah, we feel pain. We Because you can tell they're scared and they don't want, they don't want to die and shit like yeah. that, you know? Do you reckon like, you would stop or cut down or eliminate animal foods from your diet? Yeah. Because the main problem is like 97, 98% of the problem is food animals. Chickens, cows, billions, 150 billion animals tortured and killed so we can have sandwiches and stuff when we, yeah. you know, we can get a sandwich that doesn't have it in there, man. But Are you like vegetarian? No, nah, vegan. vegan. Veg vegetarians, they still eat eggs and dairy, which are disgusting industries, bro. Like, they take the baby away from the cow, steal the baby's milk, then they kill the baby and eat the baby, and then they kill the, the mother cow when she can't produce milk anymore. So the egg industry mints up baby chicks, man. Yeah, are these all vegan people? Yeah, all vegan. Do you think if there was human being, if we took the animals out of those places and put human beings in there, what would it be? It would make me happy. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, Do you think that, that, that humans need to... To they understand to the stuff from suffering, yeah, they I've experience seen, I've it. I've talked to the dudes from the abattoirs, and they're fucking sitting there saying how they love to take out their aggression by bashing the animal before yeah. they kill it. And I said, if you ever fucking let me hear you say that again, I'll fucking do it to you. So you don't like animal cruelty, yeah? No. Do you know, like. I've um, got a lot more respect for animals. Yeah, than you, do for you sound like you do. Do you, do you know, like. Because I used to. I was the same. I hate animal cruelty, but then I realised that I had a steak on my plate. Oh, yeah. And I was eating it, so I was eating the animal cruelty, yeah. and I was paying someone by buying that steak. Yeah. The money goes to their hand, so I'm making it happen. Yeah. So that's why, as a vegan, you, the only way you can avoid animal cruelty is by not not funding it yeah. and eating it. You know, because otherwise, like, you know, the animal still goes to slaughter for your meal. Yeah. So.
This is basically just like the Nazis and the Jews, but as animals. Yeah. Like they hold them in like cages in the trucks and stuff. That's like the trains when they used to help the Jews in the Yeah. Stuff, right? It's like the animal holocaust. Yeah. That's yeah. what vegans refer to it as. Yeah. Do you think it, it's sort of the same thing, eh? Like if you took the animals out of those places and put humans in there, it would be like a genocide, like a holocaust, yeah? Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of the same thing. Like, We're treating animals the way that we wouldn't want to be treated ourselves. Yeah. Do you used to eat legumes? Do you used to eat different? You don't, we don't, yeah, there's no... We don't need as much protein as the meat and dairy industry say we need. No. I mean, you can get protein from bananas. It's in everything. If you eat yeah. enough food, you get enough protein. I mean, uh, the problems are big. Like the sugar, you look at sugar as the first product we get addicted to. I don't yeah, think chocolate. sugar has as many victims as meat or dairy because no. you, sugar. Okay, you've got a sugar addiction. That's you. That's yeah. on you. That's not taking a piece of an animal's body and eating that because you want to eat its flesh. You know, there, there, yeah. there's animal suffering. There's animal cruelty with sugar. It might not be the healthiest food, but at least there's no animal cruelty involved with it. Because so. this whole world's gone crazy. It's mostly sugars was sending them crazy first, and then they end up on ice. But it, like these dudes are doing cruelty to animals in the advertisers, they're fucking on ice. Yeah. And they go, they put a powder on the table on yeah. everyone's table every day. And what happens? Nobody knows what's in the powder. So people they could put Panadol one day or ice the next day, you don't know what they're putting on your yeah. table, but someone puts a bit of powder on their table and then they work and they're off their face. So the cruelty is happening on drugs. You yeah, know what I mean? it is. But who, who do you think is more responsible, those in the slaughterhouse or those that are paying them to do it? Yeah, yeah it's supply and demand, isn't it? If it was... So if we didn't, if, we, if no one bought the meat and dairy, do you think they would have a job no, to do right. that to animals? Yeah. So the, I, I always tell people the power is in your hands. Yeah. It, I mean, if you can't be against animal cruelty while paying for it to happen, you know, I just think that's a, a double step. It's like a contradiction sort of thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I hope that's not healthy, man. Who, yeah, who, um, what, what part of it isn't healthy, do you know? I don't know, I've just heard it's not healthy. Yeah, because the people that sell this stuff to you want you, want you to eat that. Yeah. So they make up lies, bro. Like, I know some of the healthiest, strongest people, fit, um, boxers, weightlifters, bodybuilders, um, just healthy people, man, all vegan, man. Yeah. You know, there's nothing that's in a steak that you can't get from a plant. Yeah. Because yeah. how does the cow get it in its body? It eats the plants and then you eat the steak to get what was in the plants. But, you know, you can just eat the plants and the cow survives. So the, I, know, the, I, I have, like, trying to wind up and try not to eat meat. Yeah. But it is, like, an easy, it's an easy way to get a lot of nutrients. What you know, nutrients are in meat that aren't in, in plant foods, do you know? Oh. No, I think they're all in the plant foods, but you well, how does the animal get it in its body? It eats the plant foods. So you're filtering your nutrients through an animal, which yeah. doesn't make sense, does it? No, it's like I say, it's like eating McDonald's. It's not real food. Yeah, well, it's just at the end of the day, when an animal dies, its body is decomposing, so it starts to rot. Yeah. It's so dead food, it's yeah. dead food, and you're putting that in your body, and people are getting bowel cancer, a heart disease. They're dying. People are dropping like flies. I'm an MMA fighter. Oh yeah. But, uh, have you heard of um, good vegan MMA fighter? I wish I knew off the top of my head. There's a few. A yeah. few. One was a raw vegan. I can't. Um, but there's two brothers. Who are those two brothers? Nick Diaz and oh, Nate Diaz. And Nate Diaz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he goes vegan before he fights. So he goes raw vegan before he fights because he recovers better. I just heard it's not healthy because people don't get meat. Right. Yeah. But yeah, of course. You, you know, meat, dairy, and egg industries have got more money than the oil industry. They've got that much cash, and they they promote their own nutrition. They you know they skew the science to make it in their favour, so you buy their product. But yeah. people are dying, man. People are fat. They're sick. They're dying of heart disease, cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you think they're all vegans? Think think doctors have got so many patients because of vegans? I noticed them um, at KFC. Um, mostly females go there, yeah. and uh, mostly overweight. And um, when you see them. At so lining up at all the different food stores, you see the different behaviour from the yeah. people that eat the different foods. Yeah. So the people who um, eat the KFC, they just all, no, no other stall, like you got 20 stalls, one else just stands there and blocks up the whole thing. All the KFC people, they were stupid. They were, yeah. They're all stupid people because they're eating KFC. They're, they're standing there and you go up and they won't get out your way or nothing. 
you know how you normally everyone runs out. Do you think it affects their brain function? Yeah, they're just like a, not they're just like become like a chicken or a sheep or something. Yeah, yeah, become what yeah. Like they don't care. Like you walk up and say excuse me, and they go. And not that. Like, 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 like zombies or something. Yeah, yeah. And it's the KFC. We, you watch them next time when you see KFC. You watch them when they're lining up there. Like. Even McDonald's aren't that bad, not that bad. Yeah. But the KFC, something in the KFC is really fucking them up. Do you know when I stopped eating um, meat and flesh and dead animal foods and stuff like that, I, my, my cl mental clarity I was just switched on all the yeah. time and I, I could think a lot clearer yeah. and I, f I felt a lot clearer, like I just felt like it cleansed something yeah. out of me. Like I don't yeah, think you can true. put that suffering in your body and it not affect you eventually, like it's yeah. gonna affect you. Like, Eating dead and then yeah, you are what you eat. Yeah, you eat a dead body of an animal. What becomes? What happens to you? You know, like, and they're suffering. You know, here, I'll give a couple of these guys. Take a book. These has got some information in there about dairy, about eggs and that. It goes through water use, like how much water per kilo of beef. Oh, that's that's not true, man. It's actually fifty thousand liters of water for one kilo of beef. Yeah. Um, dairy, how it slaughters baby cows, how we're not supposed to drink milk from another species. Yeah. Do you see? Do you reckon that looks natural? No, it looks wrong. How we, we're like, you're supposed to wean off milk when you're a baby, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, why are we still drinking milk from another animal? Like, we're not breastfeeding. But they've got us tricked. They're tricking us to think it's okay to drink milk that's for another animal, bro. Yeah. Like, why do we need it, man? Calcium? Yeah. Where does See, a cow get the calcium? How does a calcium end up in the milk? They eat the, the plants. It's found in all plant foods, calcium. And they just steal it from the cow. Yeah, they, they, they steal it from the baby cow. They kill the kill the baby, they, they impregnate it, t take a baby away and steal the milk. But keep using her to breed. Yeah, you just exploit her like a slave, bro. The thing that, what that gets me is like, like the Chinese culture is taking over the world and they've got a cruel, cruelty to animals. You know, like they have a, the festival of torture for people's pet dogs. Like they'll take your pet dog and they skin it alive and yeah. cook it alive. Not because they want to eat it, just because they want to be cruel to the dog because they think the dog is like, they're like feline or something and they're just being cruel to the dog. It's like yeah. racism in a way. You it's know called I mean? speciesism? Yeah. Well, yeah. And, they're, they're just, and the thing is that China is a look on this big culture that's taking over the world. They're very cruel to animals. Yeah. And then how you treat your animals, how you treat your people. That's so like, true. That's so true. I think this is how we solve a lot of problems in the world. If we start treating animals with respect and kindness, animals that we perceive as below us, yeah. I think if we lift them up, start treating them with respect and kindness, how are we going to start treating each other? You know? Maybe eating the animals is making us more Violent. animalistic. We're eating violence. We're, we're eating. We're becoming animalistic. We're yeah. eating slave. Yeah. Oh, we're eat? eating slavery. We're eating violence. We're eating cruelty, yeah. and we wonder why we're an unsettled and cruel society. Look into it, bro. It's a big thing now. It's happening fast, man. People yeah. are waking up. So there's more information in there. I'm going to go scout and talk to some other people. But you sound like a really got it together, and you you can see the violence and. Good talking to you, bro. Uh, you too. No worries, man. Take care, bro.